What's up, production crew? Nab Productions here. I'll put you guys in the director's seat. And welcome to Game of Thrones, a Telltale series. Telltale series. So this is kind of the same people that did The Walking Dead. And I'm starting this now. Why? Instead of finishing Walking Dead? Because we're going to Walking Dead again. But Game of Thrones comes back tonight. So this Sunday... The 16th of July is when Game of Thrones comes back on HBO. So I will thought in the uh, Ritz of it coming back, we're going to go ahead and start this series up. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's kind of uh, interesting. I've seen I've seen this before. Play the demo, but never the full game. So we're gonna have we're gonna have a good time here, guys. All right, let's just go ahead and play episode one. The Northerners will never forget Tyrion Lannister. Here we go. Now, I didn't have options, so I need to make sure I can get subtitles. So if I can hit escape sometime and do that, I'll do that. But there are no options at the beginning. Adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Yes, I agree. For thousands of years, House Forrester has been loyal bannerman to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of Wolfwood, the harvest a rare ironwood trees. Now in the north has ripped apart by war, rival houses seek to claim Forester Ironwood for themselves, and the fate of the House Forester hangs in the balance. I need to read that rather... Okay, good. Subtitles on. Here we go. The great Jamie Lannister. Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Pick up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest... I will, I will. see. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, I'll tell us you got Tyrion, too. <laughs> Shh. Let him finish. Well, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup, the night we celebrate. To Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, King, of the King of the North! The King of the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor. 
to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Castle Rock! Aye. Death to the Lannisters! Aye. Aye. The North remembers! Aye. <laughs> Got it. Aye. I need you <clears throat> to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With, with me, my lord. my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now. But I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? To honor this noble house. You serve me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Heck Not yeah. as a squire. But as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester, it's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. <laughs> For now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. More wine! Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Ooh. Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. More wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. Could be worse. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop. Well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Ah. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. You'll get Give there. It time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Yeah, it's right over there. The twin stronghold of the House Frey, the Red Wedding. Ooh. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. It's not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Uh oh. What? What's wrong? Just gone into you. Don't need to go back now. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Save Bowen. But what about 
What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? Run! Run. Oh my gosh! We need to get back to camp! Oh my gosh, that noise! Baby, the king. Yeah, baby. Pay attention, pay attention. Ready, boys. <clears throat> Go to safety! Go to safety! Quick, 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 quick! It's gonna fall on your head! Oh, not Q again! Oh, it's the worst! Oh my gosh! Oh, the Q button is so bad! Uh oh! Uh-oh. Kick! See ya! Oh, ho, 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 ho! Oh! Pow! Right to kiss her! Oh, no! to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Find a weapon, quickly! <laughs> get it, get it, get it! Get the weapon, pick up the sword! Go, my lord, while there's still time. Oh, no. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time's over. <laughs> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Well, the free says you have to go. You're welcome. To the fucking I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Only Uncle Duncan. Hey, it's those foresters. Uncle. 
On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking foresters! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> We love to ah! the fray. Run, boy! Oh my gosh. Come here, putz, run! Like how he runs. <laughs> uh, through the hills, is that what it says? Ah, uh, yes! Da, 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 da. Oh, this is awesome. I personally love Game of Thrones. I think it's very well put together. Storyline is insane. And you get those parts where you watch, like, for example, in the show, and you're just like, seriously? Damn it, Game of Thrones. Oh, man. I like how they're redoing this for the game, and they make it... Oh, that's so cool. It just looks awesome. Iron Reach, this is where we're headed. Oh, yes. This is so good. Episode 1 Iron from Ice. Alright, let's do this. I have a great sword, the one that that boy said I'll never have. Forrester Lands, The King's Road, a telltale story by Andrew Grant and what's his face? Directed by Martin Montgomery. I'm not gonna read all those. <laughs> you can see. WISD to look around. What's this? It's blood. 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 Fresh. Uh oh. Run. That's father's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Bolton. Oh, I hate that guy. It may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> no! Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself? Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. That's right. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Yeah. Come get it, you bastard. No! 
no, 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 no. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? <laughs> oh, baby. Come on now. Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. See you hang for this. That much I promise. Justice or mercy, achievement unlocked. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. Uh. I'll kill the men who did this. Yeah, you will. And we're going to help you. We're going to be part of that. The solution here. That's what we're going to do. Ironrath, stronghold of House Forester. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Oh, man. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Gosh. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh. <laughs> Dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. 
Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel no, 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 no. masters in the art of Warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? It's for my uncle. Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here That's any right. moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Let's see. We're walking. Let's go to the chair. The Lord's chair. I just, some, these games crack me up. It's like, oh, look at the window. Look at the chair. Put the it Ironwood the Grove. Well, that did something. That's good, at least. And come on, Gibby. Look at the tapestry. Mirror. Still Mirror. in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. <sighs> So sad. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengrin. Look, I'll show you. No. Medical supplies. Uh, look at the bucket. Blah! Touch. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. <laughs> when you finish exploring, okay. This might help. Okay, let's talk to. Let's make it happen. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate us? Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Well, was one, our Ironwood? White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Who's the new lord Who's the of the new house? lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. 
<laughs> at the Citadel, Face. I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will become of me? What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Royland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. His loot? <laughs> Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... So sorry. NATO. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero. Whatever you can recall. He, he loved, loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He... said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family! I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. We should demand justice. Aye. Justice on their terms. Which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Then what's huh. to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. 
It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, will <coughs> accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. Oh man. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Uh, we have something to tell you. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. Yeah, I did. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Nope. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. That's right, because I'm awesome. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, Iron from you ice. represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. That's right. Off we go. <laughs> Wait! Get a little smoochy before we go? Oh. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Be safe. A long road ahead, achievement unlocked. Ethan? 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 
Ethan Forrester, Lord of House Forrester. He looks weird. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me! Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. <laughs> I was worried stupid. you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so you think. <laughs> I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't <laughs> know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Why? <sighs> <sighs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Wise, wise words. But since you you're the new that. lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. <coughs> He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. Hmm. They showed up unannounced. Whitehills. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. 
is, was. It makes no difference. The White Hills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Ooh, I don't like this guy. They already hate him. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. Oh, no I hate courtesies. This guy. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us <laughs> for generations. <laughs> well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roos Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Ooh, this guy. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no <laughs> disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Oh! Boom! That lad may be Lord Boom. of his house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill.
defiance or diplomacy. I've never done this diplomatically. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Oh, man. Oh, it just gets worse, it gets worse. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna leave that one there. So, now we're at King's Landing, I believe, and where Mira, I believe her name is, and we're going to continue the story here in a little bit, but this is a good start of it, where we're, people are dying left and right, typical Game of Thrones style, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you liked the video, check that like button right in the notes, don't forget to tell your friends and family about the production crew, and as always, this video is a wrap. We'll see you guys in the next video.